from Thailand. Thailand! Yo, yo! <laughs> yeah! It's for a start of Freestyle Division Champion. Give it up. Make some noise. Here it is. This is the day when the top Dance Rush players from across the US gathered for the epic showdown in the flashiest, most attention-grabbing, eyeball-catching dance game ever. It was highly anticipated by not only the Americans but Dance Rush players all around the world. The Dance Rush tournament was scheduled from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. on Friday the 20th, meaning there was a bunch of amount of time for players to hang out until then. So, what was I doing in that morning and afternoon? Of course, I was wasting time on a dance for song guy video that really was impossible to be completed on that day anyway. Yeah, it was a huge mistake not to have wrapped up this project before traveling to the US and a huge mistake to think that I would be able to somehow finish it right before the tournament starts. So, I had barely any footage before the Answer tournament began because I had been working on this. Not even a second of my first meetings with players like Henry Zhang or Chespi Max was recorded. Then, I had almost zero footage during the tournament run as I was seriously focused on my role as a judge and commentator for the first half. Finally, I also had very little footage after the dancers tournament ended because if you were there, you'd know that the event began really late due to tech issues, technical difficulties. By the time we reached the end, it was already 2 to 3 a.m. of the next day, so we were all tired and I wasn't really in the mood of content creation anymore. I'm really sorry that this is supposed to be the most anticipated episode of this vlog series, but due to multiple reasons, it might be the one with the least material. Huge shout outs to Meepston, Henry Zhang, PH, and of course, Ejiken for sharing their footage, which I'll use in my vlog. I'm still waiting on yours, by the way. Complain about it. I didn't complain about it. I just, like, oh, I just, I just inquired about it. There are two different words, there are two different actions. I just asked about it. Alright gamers, new mission, we've successfully procured a meat mountain from Arby's for Keshki from, uh, from Thailand. We're gonna give him a little culture shock real quick. Oh wait, there he is right there, that works for me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> hey Keshki, I got a little something for you. <laughs> Um, first of all, uh -huh. as courtesy, I have to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. So, um, Are you gonna, it's, is he gonna open it here? I don't know. It's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! <laughs> It barely fits in the box! <laughs> 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 it doesn't fit, yo. Yo. <laughs> it's, it's too big! Uh, you're probably gonna save it for later, but uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what it would look like when you opened it. You didn't have like one slice of bacon? Bro, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take one roast beef <laughs> yeah. slice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that didn't do anything. It helps. Maybe like one or two percent. Yeah. Well, it's marginal, marginal. Yay. Oh, did your thingy die? Yeah. Damn. You're gonna, you're gonna eat that and then like, like 15 minutes into the competition you eat your meat. Right this is this is absolutely not me bribing you, by the way. This is the strategy, right? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to bribe you. In fact, I expect I a like lower score from this. Opposite. Yeah, I'm expecting a lower score because of this. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're going down. down. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting points deducted. <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to like get me be un unable to judge. 
Yes. I didn't say that. I just wanted to see culture shock. If it if anything else happens, that's that's an effect that I did not account for. Yeah. Okay. Just no. <laughs> you know what? I I would have understood. I would have understood. I just I need the culture shock to happen. That's all. Pseudo, you missed it. This is like what? Do you want to see it? Well, this is what you, you can have half of it. Yeah. You can have half of it. How, how trustworthy is this store? Arby's? Arby, it's a fast food chain. It's about as trustworthy as McDonald's. Take it or leave it. McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's. So not, not so trustworthy. Yeah, yeah it could be 50-50. I don't know. <laughs> I've had it before. It made me feel like garbage, but I lived. <laughs> you, you, give, you give me something that made you feel like garbage. <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> You're aware that I'm gonna be the judge. <laughs> you don't have to eat it now, I'm just oh, saying. You could oh, eat it after if you really want yeah. to. Just what are you like, trying to tell them? What, at, oh, it like, tastes worse cold. because it's getting cold, right? Just reheat it, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, you see a microwave in there? Uh, I don't know if he has one in his hotel room or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, come on, bro. <laughs> Alright. I don't know about microwaving. That just sounds weird now. No, I do it all the time with everything. Yeah. In Thailand. Okay. Or, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> no, it's not just you. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, well, just me personally. There's some things I won't microwave like fish. I will. You need to do that. Someone get a photo of it, and then you like uh, when you upload your next video, that's like yes, that's, dude. Yeah, that's like the line. that's like the clickbait <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. My experience uh, in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I do think that I have enough credibility, enough skills, and basically knowledge of dancing in general to be a good judge. However, surprisingly, up until this point, I have never been a judge for any dance or dance game event at all. Almost 10 years of playing rhythm game, I have always been a competitor, chasing that prize money and the glory to come out on top. So yeah, this it's not going to be easy to judge. I'm very active on Discord server and basically I watch a lot of Dance Rush videos. I know a lot of these competitors, not in person, but I've seen the videos of somewhere around a third to half of these players online. I had to try my best to not be biased. I set it upon myself that I'm going to be a tough judge, but I'll try to be tough equally on everyone and stick to what I said I was looking for as a judge. So, now that we got the formalities out of the way, what's going on everyone? Yeah! Yeah! I can't believe the day is finally here. Yeah. Thank you all of you for traveling from literally all over, whether you're from the West Coast, Ohio, Ohio. up north, down in Florida, or even from Thailand. Thailand! Yeah! Yeah! Thank you all so much. I want to welcome you to the official second Dance for a start on freestyle competition for Mistake on the Lake 5. So, 60 percent style, 40 percent game school. The difference this year is that our judges are going to share what their criteria are. If you watch the streams, we went over this. If you're just now joining, you're going to get a very kind of quick and dirty explanation. Yes, what are you looking for as a judge? First of all, I want to make you a speaker. So I have to rely on this script. To be specific, each of the three judges has a maximum score of 20. It is equally divided into two categories, styling slash creativity and execution. In my interpretation, your styling and creativity refers to, well, how creative you can get. What other dance styles can you bring into the game? What props or surprise factor do you have and how well do they match your song pick? As for execution, it refers to how smooth and clean your techniques are, especially but not limited to your shuffle dance foundations. A perfect 10 on styling slash creativity indicates that you bring moves that aren't shuffling, use the right prop or do something creative, something novel and they fit the song really well. Additionally, a perfect 10 on execution implies that you have mastered the foundations and everything you do, whether it's shuffling or not, is solid enough to the point that you could give me a run for my money if we were to face off in a real dance battle. With these criteria and standards in mind, this whole competition should be easy for me to judge, right? Uh-uh, wrong. That's what you think. Okay, it's easy to set the standard for what a 10 in styling and a 10 in execution mean, but 
What should a 9, a 7, or a 2 in these categories mean? Look at this guy, for example. His shuffling was okay, but he also brought other dance styles and those were pretty clean. What about this guy? He was just spinning, rolling on the floor, but did it really fit the music? Oh shit, I don't have enough time. The next guy's coming on the pad. Okay, he was creative, but not as creative as the previous guy. So I should give him lower score than the previous guy, right? But wait, what score did I give him again? Okay, next fella's coming. I think his execution is at um 6.5. Wait, that would be the same as three guys before him. Are they really on the same level? Yo, he used his hands to hit the notes, but it's not really the first time someone has done it. Should that be considered a 10 on freestyle? Okay, I respect the attempt, but it looked kind of like they haven't mastered it. Oh, they yet. brought something new, but it was kind of sloppy. Should I give bonus point uh, for... Is that rich? actually their own is idea or they brought it I don't see any shuffle oh, dance moves. Kind of too low? Uh, oh my god, oh my head is crashing. Anyway, I just want to let you know that just because I give you like not so good score or sometimes even hate a score definitely does not mean that I hate you in person or doesn't mean that I definitely hate your routine. It's just that you're just not up there at the high standard that I have set in my mind. So it's okay. Right? You can play dancers for fun. There's no one to tell you that, oh, if you get low score, you need to improve, you need to grind harder. But there is always room for improvement for everyone. After the whole competition is over, the judges' scores have been released. The judges' names are not officially listed. It's only written as Judge 1, Judge 2, Judge 3. But some people already guessed correctly who is Judge S. Whatever score you get, I see that most players really give out their best. No one was holding back and it was a really great honor, great pleasure to be here and watch you guys in person. Out of these scores, in hindsight, are there any that I feel were a little too high or too low? Yes, there were. But it wouldn't have changed the overall rankings much and it wouldn't have changed the result of the top four anyway. Oh, yeah! You deserve it, bro. Dakota! It's Dakota! Amazing players, dude. Oh yeah, there's the talent. I, I'm, I'm glad we have. You know, like it, it's very rare to have competitions like this, and I think like it goes to show that like it's a lot of good, a lot of hidden talent out here. You know, you are one of them. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I think like in terms of dance alone, you're one of the best, if not the best. Thank you. I but that. it's the game score. I know the game score. Is, that that that's, that's got me. It's all good. I, that matters I, I, I kind of figure. It's yeah. all good. Though. But I appreciate that. That means a lot. Yeah. 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 Pleasure to meet you, man. I, I think like I don't know how old you are, but like I think like in terms of hip hop, popping, locking knowledge. I think yeah. You have more. You, you like you're better than me in that. Oh no. Probably. But what? Well, well, Keshi, right? Yeah, Keshi. John, you. nice to meet you. Uh, or chaos. Chaos, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, yeah. Yeah, thank you for being here. Like, I appreciate you being here. And, uh, uh, like, uh, taking part of like this, this great, uh, this great. It's an honor. It's yeah. an honor. Like I cannot deny it. If someone invites me, I have to say yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we invite you to Florida. <laughs> hopefully. I think we will. I think we will. But now I have to return to my job really yeah, soon. Your job. Yeah. What a lot of people don't realize is how tough it is to be a judge. Think of it this way. If the result of a competition turns out favorable, they congratulate the winners and thank the organizers. However, what if the result is controversial? What if a lot of people don't agree with the outcome? Who are they gonna blame first? Us, the judges, obviously. In the end, I'm glad that we got our top four that I think most people can agree that they are the best players of that night and I think they deserve what I'm about to reveal to them next. I want to buy it! 
So, your new Mistake on the Lake Dance Rust Stardom Freestyle Division Champion with a score of 92.638. Give it up. Make some noise. Oh. the hungriest for food and also hungriest for the win. Everybody, keep it up for your top four. So, before we go, we are at very little amount of time. I want to give a thanks. I want to give thanks to our judges, Wumi, Cookie, and Kashki. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Lastly, I want to give a thanks to Solid Snake who sat here and did all of this calculation. Yeah, that being said, we have about one minute before everything turns off. <laughs> really? Uh, and a quick message, quick message by Kashki. Okay, so it's been a great pleasure that you invited me here. And there's something that I think um, you all winners deserve it. It seems that Konami has never really given you guys enough attention that you deserve, right? So, do you know what these are? These are goods from the 9KC that I have bought in stock. Wow! And I have planned at first to give it to the Thai community, but they never actually ever organized a dance rush tournament. So screw it, you're gonna get it. Monkey Chain! Yeah! Monkey yeah. Chain! Yeah! I'm not gonna touch anything from the first winner. Nice job. Hold on. So, Dakota, what do you choose? Get a keychain. You get a keychain? Are you sure? Are you serious? Yeah. Are you sure? Humble! Yeah. Humble! You know, like these tower. Wow! I'm gonna be like, Let's go, Linus! Dude! That's sick. That's worth it. Um, um you know like um <laughs> my friend, my best friend told me he asked me to buy the wallet and he used it and he said that it's not really sturdy. Are you sure? <laughs> Just like yeah. you! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say so. so uh, Henry, what do you want? Oh man, who knows what do you want? Oh no, you choose first. Please. please. No, you please. Ah. You please. Oh no. Alright, I'm taking back. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Okay. Let's go! Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Alright. I wish you could have had more time. I, I wish we could have had more time to do the train and everything else that we do as a routine. But yeah, shit sucks. This entire tournament started running behind today. I thank everyone for adapting and everything. But can we give one more round of applause like for, some hype for Kashi for coming all the way out? If you if you're not leaving out tomorrow, stop by, yeah, yeah, hang yeah. out, run some sets with them, record some footage. Before we go, big ridiculous dumbass round of applause for round one staff and management. Yeah. 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 Couldn't be Towson. Right. Couldn't be Towson. Almost 15 minutes past closing and they haven't kicked us the fuck out. They <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love round one. This Do you? you? Take care, have a good night, I'll see you. Woo! Um, other than that, uh, just get home safe. Get back to your Airbnb or hotel safe. After I get in my car and leave, I kind of don't care what you do as long as it's not illegal. Don't do anything illegal. Just don't hurt yourselves or hurt anyone else. And I'm safe, safe. Don't the rhythm game community and whatever crimes you do. True. Don't be like DDR. Damn, dude. That's fucked up. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh my god. Hey, that's why you're not that's why you're not judging. Oh my god. Deconfirmed. Denied. At this point, do whatever you want with it.
like eat it, eat it like this. You yeah. can eat it like that. You could take a picture of it and throw it out. No. Uh, it's up to you no, at this no, point. No, no, no. I'm gonna throw this special gift away. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay I'm gonna keep it. Special gift? Yeah. I mean, it really? Like, it's, it mean like special has like a lot of meaning. It doesn't have like a you know like fixed connotation to it. Yeah. Yeah, it could mean like specially good, specially awful, specially like what the fuck. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I'm hungry. There you go. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I'm not having a meme. This is a special. Hey, yo. I'm giving it away. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump, on, I'm gonna dunk on him really quick. Oh, oh why are you doing that to so, him? So, you need to understand how this, how he has been operating since he's came to Cleveland. Uh huh. We went to Sheets. I showed him the magic of Sheets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Immediately after he got off the plane. Mm -hmm. This man uses the touch screen. You know, all right, this drink is cool. Mm -hmm. Goes for a burger. Yeah. Bun, burger, <laughs> True. cheese, True. picks a cheese. Uh huh. Okay. It's normal. Hits the condiments. Ooh. Yeah. Cash key. Goes, ah. One, two. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Okay. Then oh, gets one, to the two. toppings. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 This motherfucker puts like 18 con 18 like toppings in the wall. And both like only 14? <laughs> <laughs> only 14? After hearing this, I don't want to- I'm fucking dying. Just like, I, I, I want to know how this tastes. It's good. And, uh, oh, and is it now? <laughs> yeah. Would you mind saying what you, what you said to me? If it's free, why not? Just take it off. Real! 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 I can't complain with that reasoning. Dude, he said, true. He said, he said that he's like, that's just, that's, that's how we work it. That's Thai culture. Yeah. <laughs> if it's free, you take it. Yeah, if I have to add one more thing, like, you know, like buffet, you know, like the Westerners think it's like, um, for like, um, serve yourself. But for us, buffet means. Eat as much as you can to make it worth the money. You oh, yeah. average yeah. Asian mindset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love yeah. buffets. So, Waste and not. then mm -hmm. we, we, you know, we drove over here. No. You know, neither one of us ate what we had. And did you actually even eat that burger? I at all? ate it. Okay. Oh this man, this man sat on that burger for like six hours. Oh Amazing. Just, just like he's doing with this fucking meat mountain right here. Yeah, that's what I want to <laughs> say. If you got that, let's, let's go. go. I don't want to hear any complaints about so, the meat mountain. <laughs> American, <laughs> American, American culture. Right now, we are going to pray for you that you don't shit yourself in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. So, it's not bad. You don't, you don't have to reheat it. For one. Two. And that was it. The Dance Wars tournament for Mistake on Number 5 was officially over. However, this is still not the end of my journey in Ohio, as in the following day, it turned out some Dance Rush players, like our champion Lioness, were still hanging out in the mall as well. If you haven't subscribed already, at least don't forget to check back from time to time on this channel, as in the next episode, we're going to get an interview with the Mistake on the Lake 5 champion. See how he smoked me, the guest judge in a dance cipher, and also the Meat Mountain. See ya!